It's we the people versus the establishment. It's the moment in the Republican Party, and you know we'll see how that plays out. I think I think she should testify, and I think it should be total transparency, open book, and the congressman should not play with kid gloves. Get to the questions that we need to get to the heart of. The top issue that we need to get to the bottom of is whether the Biden family has sold off our foreign policy, including in, and especially in Ukraine, to enrich their family. Get to the bottom of the relationship with Burisma. Get to the bottom of every one of those details, of the recorded conversations. Procure that as well. Grassley others have talked about having had seen it or had access to it. Put it all on the table. We the people can handle the truth. We need a government that tells the truth. That's what we need, and I hope to see come out of that. I have told you before that you're not playing the endorsement of the Yes. Yep. I think that whatever it is, whatever sequence we go in, we need full transparency. At the end of the day, I think that there's been purposeful shrouding and protection of this class of investigation. The reports from whistleblowers about governmental interference, particularly in some of the Biden-related investigations, are deeply troubling. We now have an opportunity, if this is done correctly, to set the record correct with total transparency. I'm very skeptical, but I'll keep an open mind. And if they truly are willing to interrogate and get to the bottom of all of the answers relating to the foreign relationships in Ukraine and how that influenced Biden's foreign policy and what Joe Biden's direct involvement in these conversations was or was not, then I think that'll be a service to the American people. And I, and I don't think those should be mutually exclusive, a deposition or a testimony in front of Congress. I think both could serve the American people well. Well, 